Hey guys, it's me, Lantis, and we're playing World Chrono Trigger on the DS. We're actually going to be able to start the uh, n some of the new content soon outside of the arena. Alright, Golem Twins. Now, the reason why I haven't been taking Ayla, which I kind of wanted to do, was because these guys... If you let them do physical attacks, your HP is gone. You cannot use physical attacks or they will half your HP till you die. So now they are doing lightning, which uh, is a little bit more manageable. Uh, we'll just alternate between lightning and fire. I think that should be manageable. Actually, I should do light, uh, laser spin and see what they do for shadow. Because I don't remember. They do ice, too, if you do ice on them. I don't remember that much, which is not cool. Uh, now, I could mix it up and do, like, fire sword and all that jazz. Wait. Do they only target one person with fire? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's, let's, let's do something real cool, let's experiment. So, we're gonna change him to fire. What do you do? Alright, so that, is that it? Because if that's it... Okay, they do uh, something a little stronger. Not, I'm gonna stick with that. I'm just gonna keep doing Fire Sword. Because apparently Fire's a lot easier to manage. Mm -hmm. And Robo, you just sit there, man. You just sit there until you're needed. You're needed. <laughs> Delicious. Getting on the robo. Stop! <laughs> Might actually have to give up one of uh, Chrono's turns just to throw a potion on the friggin' robo. Oh, never mind. We're fine, I guess. Mimic Dalton Burp. I uh, actually think that that causes poison. Does it? Or HP drain? No? Alright. Well, this is pretty much over. <laughs> Heal back up for whatever reason. And we're going to be done here in a few turns. So yeah, that's why you don't want Ayla, because uh, the only thing you'd be able to, well, I guess lightning's not so bad, but it seems like they don't have a single target lightning, which means they're going to be hitting you more frequently. I should be almost done now. Hey, we win. That wasn't even a big hit to our MP either. I don't even really need to use a shelter. I'm going to.
Man, we could probably take you right now. <sighs> this entire game, I haven't had to stop the grind for more shelters yet, which is good. The time until Eve is new. Uh, I think that new is actually warning. Uh oh. No, 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 I just remember what happens. Uh, Rom. We're gonna load that back real quick. Actually, while we're doing this, uh, Chrome is about to die. Uh, and he still has my gold stud, which I will not let him leave with. Uh, but before we do that, let us go to the arena. Let's check on our little buddy pal. Let's see if he, he's leveled up at all. Hit his second form. Boo, 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 boo. Nope, not at all. Let's see what his uh, stats are doing. Strength went down a little bit. Speed went back up to max. Uh, this is good good stats, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give him... Is it Feral Wrath that has a better chance of classing up? And send him back to Antiquity and get those uh, lower-end magic stats up. The thing is, we can't, like, we, we're, we're clearly can handle Tier 4. And the only way we can unlock Tier 5 is if we can get him to class up again. So. There. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Return to the title screen. All right, cool. Now, we need to strip Chrono of all the stuff that we don't want to lose. Swallow, no one else can use it anyway, so who cares? Uh, but your gear, let's give you Stone Helmet, Platinum Vest. I don't want to give you any of these. You have five Ruby Vests, you can run with that. And have a headband. There. Now I won't lose my stud. And I can give it to Magus whenever we get him. Power of the Man Machine upgraded the Ruby Knife to the Moss Immune. This is the birth of the sword that would transcend time and eventually be picked up by... Uh... I think that actually explains why, why Magus is weak to it since it was birthed here. Oh hey, look, it's the final boss of the game. Let's see if we die on the very first hit. What the funny thing is, this is actually the final boss of the game. Uh, he's got the same stats and moves and everything. Like, like, nothing's different. Like, in game plus mode, you can actually beat this fight. It's a hard fight, but you can beat it. Oh, it might, it might not. It just depends on how high level you are. You might not actually be hard at all. But uh, if you beat it, you still end up getting, like, nuked by something. I can't remember what. Oh man, the prophet was Magus? <gasps> no! Mm -hmm. 
Mega should be like, man. Well, this is bad. Oh, 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 no, no. They're sucking in all my friends. No, well, not really his friend. Whatever. All right, we're dead. Oh yeah, they even have a cutscene for this. It's so hard not to see like the the Dragon Ball Z influence or like I, I mean that's Akira Toriyama like you can't really you just can't not see it We'll probably go get Chrono back, just because it's it's hard to not. Um, yes, I'm going to hold a horrible grudge against your mother, <laughs> like. Surprise Megas didn't try to stop her, like, not leave her behind. Like, supposedly she actually did survive, and you will see that in the, like, extra stuff in the DS version. But again, I'm going to have to play through the game again to actually get to that content. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, did I do everything I needed to do in Zeal? I'm like, huh. By the way, this is like one of the most badass cutscenes in all of SNES gaming. First, your main character dies. You barely warp out in time for the Kingdom of Azil to come crashing down on where the, the Ocean Palace is supposed to be, only to see the floating world above you come crashing down into the ocean to cause a tsunami that, that's going to like literally wipe out most of humanity. That is freaking awesome. Hmm. 
Actually, I haven't carried these two with me in a long time. I usually take uh, Marl and Ayla majority of the game. Especially since I absolutely love their triple tech. Final kick. It does so much damage. <sighs> Let's throw in Ayla just actually no, we're throwing in a uh, frog. For one purpose only. Whee! I'm a frog. Um, oh, yeah, we have time. Let's see, can we look at the world map? Yeah, as you can see, a lot has kind of been covered up. This is pretty much it. Wait. Can I not pick him up yet? Crap! That sucks. Oh yeah, that's right. Until until the Black Omen appears, you can't do a lot of that stuff. So let us swap. We're going to grab Ayla, since she's our potential other character that we're going to use. Um, make sure she's got some good stuff. Make sure that she has focus on strength. Okay, cool. Now, there might be some shopping to do, maybe? Bye. No mid-eithers. What's wrong with you people? Man, so little to buy. Now, there's a way to get this new to scoot over so I can get that tab. I don't know how, though. Alright. The few who have survived. As you can see, they're both from the Kingdom of... There are people that were on the Kingdom of Zeal when it went down and fell into the ocean and somehow, even though they were on the fallen continent and landed in the middle of the ocean somehow washed up on like the one island the one major island left on the game like that I can't even imagine what that was like you know what here can you tell me about it Oh, so he's just worried about not being able to use magic anymore. Alright, here we go. So, Dalton, in all of his wisdom, has decided since everybody is dead and he is the only person left, uh, he is going to take over the world. What, what little uh, there is of it.
Oh man, I love whooping this dude's ass. Okay, so now we're in the like one of the last like storyline dungeons before you can just kind of beat the game. So, the reason why you absolutely want Ayla uh, in your party at this point in the game is if you don't have her, you have to do like the stealthy stuff and if you get caught, you get thrown back into your cell, which sucks. Oh, that's how Dalton, yeah, right, that's how Dalton survived. He apparently launched the Blackbird before the fall of Zeal good on him. You know what? Here. I'm going to pretend to be sick. So, now, the way this usually works is if you don't have, yeah, like, like if you touch the sentries, uh, you get thrown into your cell, you know, etc., etc. Like, there's no way to get this one without finding your weapons first, but now that we have Ayla, we can just do this can't take her fists now without a hacksaw now what is this oh huh. robo's equipment sweet whoops Actually, where all these are. Oh man. I don't have any. I don't know if laser spin's gonna be enough. And she doesn't. Twister is her like only. Or uh, Twister and Dino Teller are only like hurt everybody. Oh wow, they have very low HP. Wow. That's just the way back up into the vents. Now there is one room you can only get through or two through vents. So. And that was our cell right here. Just change the direction of that. Take a peek in here. Yep. Laser spin. I love the fact that these guys are so weak. Boulder toss. Oh, hey, good, 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 good. Those are good tags. Oh, there's cash. Not that that matters. I didn't have a whole lot of it to begin with. And that one doesn't have anything. Hey. Stop that. <laughs> yep, here we go. So we're still missing Ayla stuff, Luca stuff, and our items. All right, so we can all three fight. Actually, does Ayla have 
No, she doesn't have any of her stuff, so it's still in a chest somewhere. Which is probably why she's taking excess damage. But at least we can all fight now, which is nice. I don't think people not participating got experience. Like, I don't think they get it. Ugh. Okay. So... Yay, here's one. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I really hope that's Ayla's stuff, because she needs armor. Party's inventory, so you mean like... Like, uh, oh, you meant my items, items. Okay. So I got my money. I got my items. I got two of my characters' items back. So I think the only thing that's left is just Ayla's. Pardon me. I think Ayla's stuff is up here. Maybe. Yeah, there's a sleeping guard. Whenever you hear snoring or this game's version of snoring, you know you you're at the right point. There it is. Okay, that should be everything. Um, money, items, and all three characters' equipment. Boom. Alright, we're back at 100%. And now Ayla's got some freaking defense. Like, how did they even get in this room? There is no door into here. Let's just get out of here. There's a vent here. Huh. It's not like these guys are hard. They got decent tech points, too. Mmm! Now, the control room is in here, maybe? Oh, that's another way to the vents. Yeah, I don't need to be in the vents. You saw me go in! This one. I think it might be this one. Yep, here we go. Now, here's the thing. These freaking turrets, I believe, drop a bunch of tech points. Yeah, they do the same thing as the freaking like rubbles and except they attack back. I can't remember what happens if you manage to kill one. Can't use text or items. Well, there's one hit. That's not bad. Wow, Robo, what are you doing way up there, man? You running all the way back? Yeah, you are. Come on, Ayla. Get another hit in. 
Let's see what happens. Let's get, let's kill one. You're not much help there, but oh. Any more time with this? All right. Now we can possibly kill this guy. He doesn't do any like counters. We just need to just nuke him. Beast toss will probably do fine. Actually, Beast Toss is great. We're gonna do that. That's that's what we do. In fact, I don't think he even attacks ever. The 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 he's a joke boss because uh, he's scared of heights. So as long as we don't have MP, we should get some experience off this. way too much time. Oh well. Oh, and on this episode of Pimp My Ride. The fact that he put weapons on it is great. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, we're gonna need a mid ether on Robo. And make a ton bomb. And you know, let's let's try the same beast toss combo. See if that doesn't do us any good. So you counter magic. What do you do to physical? Wait. I don't remember who have that little HP. What a freaking pansy! Are you kidding me?
Whoops. Oh yeah. Yeah, this game makes me feel good. Chrono is not alive, actually. He is very, very dead. Like, there is no question. Yeah, there's a way to bring him back, but he's not alive at this point in time. Alright. You know what? That's a good place to call it. Oh, we got our epic upgraded so it can fly. That's great. Oh, but now begins the quest for optional stuff. So, um, I hope you look forward to that. We'll be doing that next time with audio. Yay! See you then.